Hello, boys and girls. Today, we're going to finish our pinwheels. Last week in art class, you were able to draw your four symbols onto your pinwheel, um, front and back. We went over our lines with our markers. We shaded with our colored pencils, markers, and crayons. So both sides are designed. Our next step is going to be to cut our pinwheel out, as well as our peace sign at the bottom. You are going to need to gather some supplies. So at this time, you're going to need to get an old pencil with an eraser. You're gonna to need to get a pin. Um, you want it to be a straight pin. The ones that I have are kind of small. You might want one a little bit longer than this. Then you're going to also need a pair of scissors. Once you have those items, you can come back. So at this time, you might wanna pause the video and join us once you have your supplies. All right, step number one, you're gonna cut out your pinwheel. Notice the lines, you're gonna go around the outside of the square, and then you're going to cut on each one of the lines coming from the corners. When the line stops, you stop cutting. So I'm gonna cut out my pinwheel first. I do not wanna lose my peace sign at the bottom. Just in case you take this and go someplace, um, you might, you need the directions. Don't forget, you can keep those as well but I'm gonna be showing you how to do this so you can just watch the video. All right, so I'm staying on the lines as best as I can. Um, I am also making sure to take my time so I don't cut off anything that I'm going to need. I'm also gonna cut on the four corners. So I'm gonna cut on that line. Again, when the line stops, you stop. After you've cut all four of those lines, you are going to grab your pencil and your pin. Now, you may need adult assistance for this part, so if you need to find someone that can help you at this time, you can pause your video. This part you can do on your own, but you may need help with the actual pencil and pin. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to find your front of your pinwheel. And I know that this is my front because there's a little black dot in the middle. You can see my back on this side. I am going to start to gather one of each of the corners in towards the center dot. So I'm gonna take my first corner up here and I'm gonna bring it in and I'm gonna pinch it with my thumb. The dot is underneath. Then I'm gonna skip this corner and go to the next corner. Notice that I'm overlapping my edges. I wanna overlap my edges. And again, I'm still pinching and turning I'm gonna go over here, I skip this one and go to the next one. So every other corner you're going to bring in, I'm gonna skip it, go to my next one. Every other corner you're gonna gather in the middle and make sure that the points overlap. Now, this is what's important to practice. You can practice doing this a few times. What I'm gonna show you next is after you gather these, this is why you're gonna need your, your peace sign. So. I showed you once, I'm gonna put this down for a little bit. I'm gonna color my peace sign first. So I'm gonna pick out a color. You can use colored pencils, you can use markers. It is up to you, but I'm gonna color my peace sign. You can make it different colors if you want to or keep it all one color. And then I'm gonna cut this out as well. And again, I wanna make sure I stay on the circle. So I'm taking my time to cut around the edges and I don't wanna cut this off. If you would happen to make a mistake on this, you could take a piece of paper from your sketchbook and draw your own peace sign about the size of this. All right, and these are my scraps, I'm ready to go. So again, I'm gonna find my, my front of my pinwheel. I'm looking for the dot in the center. I'm gonna take the top corner, bring it down, and I'm gonna pinch it with my thumb. I'm going to gather every other corner towards the center, and I wanna make sure that the points overlap. Notice how I'm still pinching and I'm using my other hand to gather every other corner. Again, adult assistance might be necessary. See if you can find an older sibling or someone that might be at home that can help you out. I'm going to take my pin, my peace sign, put it right over top where they're gathered. I'm going to take my little pin. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. These pins that I have, they're a little difficult to work with. So it's easier to work with a longer straight pin. I'm gonna stick it through the center of my peace sign. Notice how I pushed the pin all the way through. That way it went through each one of those little corners that I overlapped. I'm gonna then press it through the top of my pencil eraser. I'm gonna stick it through. Now, 
Another thing that's going to be really important is this has to be able to spin. So I pushed it through. Notice that there's an edge right here on this pin. You can either take your scissors and push that down, or you could get a little wire clipper and cut that off. I'm just going to use my scissors at this point. And then I'm going to take the edge of my scissor and I'm going to push it back in a little bit. So that edge is inside the eraser and not sticking out. All right, let's take a look and see if this pinwheel is going to work. Nice. It's going to spin. So what you're going to do next is I want you to take a picture of your pin pinwheel for me using your iPad. You can go outside and stick it in the ground. And remember, you want to hold your iPad as flat as you can when you take your picture. You can also have someone in your family take a picture of you holding the pinwheel. Just remember, when you send it to me, if you send a picture with you in it, I may be using that image as part of our Pinwheels for Peace presentation. So if you do not want yourself to be photographed, then just take a picture of your pinwheel for me. And remember, try to zoom in. I want to see lots of detail in your pinwheels. Now, this is all you're going to need to do for today. After you assemble your pinwheel and take your picture, you're going to submit it or post it in discussions um, on the art page, and you will be finished with your pinwheel. If you would like to, there's some optional activities at the bottom of the SchoolG page um, that you can choose from the kindness menu. There's lots of really cool things that you can do from the kindness menu. Next time, we're going to be starting a new lesson. All right, guys, I hope you have a great time making your pinwheel, and I hope you can um, join us for Pinwheels for Peace on September 21st. Take care, guys. I'll see you next art class.